Hello, everyone. How are you? Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> oh, B. Scott. I gotta go check on her, see how she's doing. It has been a very interesting day, so I just want to get this out and hopefully get some people, men included, by the way, I'm sure this exact thing happens to a lot of men as well, not just women. I understand that. I talk to both sides and I know life happens to everybody, not just some people. So as you know, I come across, when I come across groups of people with the same situation, I won't say issue. For some it's an issue and for some it's just a situation because they don't, they, they don't know any better. But the issue ones, you know, you really attract men to you that just suck you dry. If it's just to use you for your house or your car or your money or your body or to do their laundry, whatever. To me, that's all one lump sum abuse. Okay, that that's all I know to call it. So... And you know, for me, and you know, I'm 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 far from the end all be all. Okay, I don't I'm not here to say how perfect and stuff I am. I think I'm in pretty good balance though, because I know, you know, it's just like being a medium doing readings or or using your gift, whatever it is. People will often want to take advantage of you because they want that thing from you. You know, so I, I guess I could honestly say that I'm always, I won't, I won't really say guarded. I'm just protected from stupid because, you know, it's, it's honestly, you know, Yama keeps saying when you see stupid coming across the street, I mean, come on, how all of a sudden are you going to like somebody so much in one day? Okay. Five days that you just want to, you know, and I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but I, you know what I, ha what I mean. How can you just, you know, go, I think what a lot of them do is just go to a person's page and read up on them, just like any other thief or any other crime, except this is a crime of passion because I'm sure in in my case, in in wait eight other cases, it was just you know they wanted money and to get their rocks off, which is fine, unless you elude the person that you're doing it for another reason. That's a then that's a lie. That ain't cool. That is not cool by any stretch of the imagination, okay? So when you do that, you set yourself up for some really not nice things to come into your life. And I'm not talking about getting back at people. I'm talking about we all know what goes around comes around. So... Why would you want to set yourself up for that? Is news to me, okay? It's news to me. So myself and a few other ladies that I have been chatting with on Facebook mostly, you know, have had all the same kind of things happen. So, and even if you're not a fluffy girl, I mean, I'm sure it happens to you too, but right now, this is this is the group of us that I'm talking about, you know, myself included, obviously, since I'm a fluffy girl. Because insecurity comes in all shapes, sizes, and colors. However, like I said, this is, you know, what I've been dealing with for the past 
couple of weeks, more so than other times. Okay, so this is just my my perspective of what has been happening in my life with those around me, and, and by those around me, I mean online too, because <laughs> that's what's around me, online people. So. You know, it's really nice to get compliments. Lots of cute little shit on your wall. I mean, who doesn't want that? Okay, maybe. Okay, I can't think of anybody. <laughs> I can't think of anybody, not one person. Who, who doesn't like, you know, some cute little mushy shit on their, you know, Facebook wall or whatever. Or, uh any other social site that other people can put stuff on your account, on your, you know what I mean? Sure, we all like that from time to time, or we all just like that. But for a person to go and read stuff that you, you meant for a sincere person, and then basically use that against you so you're like using it, you so like you're almost playing yourself if you don't catch on fast enough. Now, I'm an Aries, so I look at everything as just being fun and, you know, shiny, sparkly, dazzly, new. And when it gets rusty and not shiny no more, I just keep it pushing. <laughs> and that's how I choose to look at life since I am accustomed to people, you know, wanting a reading, wanting jewelry, wanting money, wanting this, wanting that. So then it's no big thing to me to, you know, bye, boo-boo. You are not the person that you claimed yourself to be at the beginning of this friendship, you know. So taking into consideration, I mean, for in my case, that, that was the first thing I was thinking. This person happens to like everything that I put on my about page. They didn't um, go to my website according to the information that they were feeding back to me. And after a while, if, if you're logical about it, because I never ever lead totally with my heart, that doesn't make any sense. God gave us both so we could stay in balance, you know? So, you know, it's, again, it's the tit for tat thing. When I do, he do, I do, he do, I do, he do. And then the other, uh, my next point is, you know, when you notice that they're not giving much information about themselves, you're doing all the talking. Okay, even and even if the talking as in mouth movement is in balance. What is getting shared? Are you sharing with him all about your favorite thing about his? He just keeps telling you how beautiful distract you or butter you up for that. <laughs> I don't really know what to call it. Hint for money on for get or 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 you know and then the okay and then, so moving on why why are you in a hurry to say I love you? I'm in love with you. I need you. Support me. Come here. Let me choke the fuck out of you. When you're dead, we'll see how much you need me. Because you're going to be dead and I can still go on. And I don't mean to sound so harsh. And yet we all know that when you're some, it's really, I mean, you just really move over to pissosity when you realize they were just using you for whatever. And poof, gone. And that's it. And you know, there's there's several other and thens and thens and thens and thens and thens. And what it all boils down to is, if you have absolutely no self-respect, he's gonna keep going. 
and see what he can get out of you. And I say it because, you know, if I don't stop it at some point, I mean, you, there's always some little something, just like with a mass murderer, just like with the child rapist, just like with, he's cute as hell. You want to give him all your information? Um, and I probably could give a lot. And yet I know for me, I know, because I, I hear the words. I, I pay attention to words. And maybe you do too. I don't know. I can't talk for you. Make your own video. But when a person says stupid fucking shit, like... I don't have money for my cell phone bill. I got to go borrow some money. Why would you say that to another adult that you said you want in for a really long time? Why would you share that? That that to, that right there doesn't make sense to me. So it's all that make the whole, obviously. Obviously, you know, so you, you just have to stop being, oh, he's spending time with me every day. And, it, you know, and it goes for girls too, but I, I don't usually have this issue with women that I flirt with. I generally only have this issue with men. So if you have it with women, you know, the same still goes. Abuse is abuse. A lie is a lie. A thief is a thief. Can't let them steal your heart and your and your consciousness, you know. Because once once them lies get going, and you're not even paying any attention to why he living with his mama. Why does he only call you on Facebook? <laughs> you know, why? Why is that? Or you know those those little little things, you know, that all add up in the end. Uh, so I, I'm really saying this to those of you that I've been talking to this week about this. And those of you who know my situation. Okay. And I'm, I'm not hating. I mean, if you got to get over, hey, boo-boo, if that's your hustle, you do your hustle. But you will not do it with me. No. No, no, no matter how much I like you or thought I liked you, I can let you go. I can let stupid go quickly, you know, real fast and in a hurry. Or what did my sister say? I can let you go before quick got ready. <laughs> I love my sister. Yes, I do. You know, and I just really want, especially you young ones, of course, because that's mainly who I really make videos for, the young ones especially if you're like me and you're 13 and you're the biggest girl in every classroom, you know, I will never, ever, ever say that any group of people are bad. Not all men are not nice. Just like all women can't, uh, all women are not always nice. You know, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. It's all even. So obviously I'm only speaking to one like you to take care of you, use, use for your car, your truck, your debit card, you cooking dinner, you know, you letting them stay with you because, you know, I'll see you back and, you know, or hinting, oh, yeah, well, uh, I was going to ask you, you know, if I could, I, 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 I'm not. Oh, fuck you mean you were gonna, but I'm not. Stupid, stupider. Bye-bye. Yeah. Time to adios, okay? 
and again, I'm, I know this isn't just for, uh, I know this doesn't only happen to big girls. It happens to everybody, no matter the nationality, no matter the size, no matter the physical condition, you know, we, we all get used or, or to, you know, we all get used to some degree at some, know this. So this, this is just my, my end, if you're late coming in. <laughs> this is just what I've been experiencing a lot of lately. You know, why, why did he then take time to get something you did? Me, they're crazy, cray cray, stupid, <laughs> loony bins. Yeah, because then when it poof by, like you never existed. Crickets. You know, and I don't want that for you. I don't want it for me either. I don't want it for me either. So at some point, I do, because let's face it, if you, this hand is closed, you, you can't keep reaching out to grab another something better if your hands are closed. You can't let nothing in. Open your hand to reach out, okay? And you are, all of you guys are far, no matter what or who, how big, tall, short, wide, whatever you are, you're all beautiful. You're all deserving of all of your good. Okay. Now, obviously, you could tell or something because <laughs> I had a whole lot to say, but that's okay. I can make a part two, huh? I really just am. Um, I, I don't want you to keep giving a cop out because this, because, because, because. You don't let anybody take advantage of you. You don't let anybody separate you from your family. You don't let anybody lead you to believe that, oh, I love you so much. Can I borrow your credit card? You're going to get one little thing and they charge $2,000 worth of shit and you can't pay it back. Oh, just let me borrow your car. But, but we're a couple now. Now the week, we're a couple. Gonna borrow your car to go over to Joe's house and never bring your car back, or brings back all all mashed up. You know, I'm gonna keep saying it. This is not a put down of all any one section of humanity. They <laughs> thought it out. Just like a murderer, just like a child rapist, you know, that's how they know. Oh, let me read Tasha's profile. Oh, she likes jazz. So let me say, yeah, oh, I love jazz too. You know, that's good. That's good. Okay, cool. You know, until you figure out, oh, they like everything that I like. That don't make sense, <laughs> you know. I mean, down to the foods, down to the color of underwear, down to the breathing in and out. I breathe in and out seventy-two times. Oh, I, yeah, I, I I only breathe out seventy-one times. You know, just all those little things that we never think to think about. Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, you're so this, but he never touches your stomach. I'll wait. I'll let that sink in, let, it, let that marinate for a second. Oh, we're there now? Okay. So, yeah, all those little itty bitty things you have to think about. I mean, especially as you have this, uh, uh, well, yeah, because I, again, I don't run into women that think like this. Um, have this perception that, you know, we big girls have big stum uh, big ass, big titties, and a flat stomach. And again, I know that exists somewhere. Not a lot. I would not say that half of our big girl population has a flat stomach, would you? So I just really want you to be careful. Even if you're a, a slender person, you still need to be careful because there's somebody out there who still wants to use and abuse you. 
And that's when you have to learn to listen to your inner self. And that little feeling, listen to that. Listen, because what they're saying will not make sense. And you're like, why would you do that? And you're allergic to peanuts and you're eating my peanut butter cookies? Yeah, baby, they're so good. Oh, you made them peanut butter cookies so good. I had to have some to die. There's not that much feel good in the world. There is not, boo-boo. No. Mm-mm. Not, not happening. You know, <laughs> and then the other thing I just... That just makes me laugh when I look back on my own experiences, you know. Yeah, we're a couple now, so um, let's get a house. But, you know, I got really bad credit, so we'll just put it in your name. Yeah. Well, it's this and this and this and this, but we'll just put it in your name. No, I love me so much you can't fucking imagine. Now, don't get me wrong, phone sex is good. Whatever I see on the screen look good. Not that I asked to see it. There's a little oops, you know. Oh, I'm sorry, I accidentally hit that on my cell phone. How old are you again, 40? And you're accidentally showing me a picture of your dick? Really? Yes, yeah, so, well, you've seen my, let me see here. No, what's fair is that you dummy the fuck up and realize I'm not playing this game with you. We can be friends and call it that, just that, maybe. Only if your stupidity improves. And I was trying to think of this. This one girl, so funny and so stupid, dude was so stupid. I mean, he was like, okay, let's invite, let's invite Tasha over. I, I see she's your dearest friend. And she was like, how did you know that? Oh, I, I, I well, you know, I peeked at your Facebook page. That's stalking. And <laughs> when you do it in a malicious way like that, just to get what you want, food, sex, laundry done, you know, car borrowed, whatever. <laughs> It was just, well, it was more stupid than that. That probably don't even really make sense to you guys, but it makes sense to me. And it was just crazy. It was just crazy. But what's even more crazy is you you think all of us are really going to fall for that? Or or the other one I love is, hey, you know, I met you in such and such a group. Hi, how you doing? Can I have your number? For what? I want to talk to you. We are talking. See, I'm not in a hurry for anything anymore. I'm just not, boo-boo. So if you're in that much of a hurry that you need, you have to have my phone number in the next 10 seconds or you're just going to fall off the face of the earth, I'll meet you at the ledge. At the edge. just not right to, to go around using people. And then you know they know that they were wrong because they just poof, gone. No, I'm sorry, you misunderstood, da, 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 whatever. You know, none of that. Just poof, be gone, leave me alone, fine, fine. You, you didn't love me, no. <laughs> In a week, I don't think so, because I know that's just one of the little fucking games you like to play. And uh, oh, one of the one of the ladies I talked to, she said, he, her guy actually came back after several months, telling her she was wrong. She's this. She's that. Blah blah blah. You know, and trying to make it all her fault. Oh, I just love it when people try to uh, turn the tables. That is just crazy. But anyway, I just really want you all to 
you know, be careful. If it's your first few times, you know, going on a single site, used to being asked, things of that nature, you know. It doesn't matter if it's that one you pay, what, like $600 for, and you have that long ass fucking profile. It doesn't matter what it is. Well, this site, it's that site. Fuck, 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 fuck. That's it. That's it, and, and that's all they they want, which is really good if that's all you want too. So I'm not I'm not totally like trying to hate on all men. That's not my purpose for this video. I could do that in another video. <laughs> I'm joking. My purpose for this video is to say, hey, dummy up! Don't forget. Don't forget. You know. Yes, I'm exhausted. Um. When you go over to, you know, your uncle's house and he has all them men there and they're gawking at you. You know, you have to be careful. Put your thinking cap on and say, hey, I better watch what I wear. I better watch what I say. And if you're, you know, the type of person like little Kim used to be and wear next to nothing everywhere you go. <laughs> um, that, that's something altogether other. Okay. Cause I'm just old fashioned. You're asking for trouble that way. Okay. You really are. Because that old saying still goes, how you dress you is how I'm going to treat you. You know, a lot of people say, like, I think even little Kim was one of them. Well, so what if I wear, you know, hardly nothing? You don't have to treat me like a slut. If you act like a slut and dress like a slut, I'm going to treat, treat you like a slut. And to most civilizations, you know, walking around with hardly anything on would be considered that unless you're on the runway, you know, modeling some Victoria's Secret shit or something, you know? So I really just want you to remember and be careful. And I'm so happy I had my brother school me telling me, Tasha, just by you f smiling at men, they think you're flirting. So don't smile. <laughs> well, pretty much. That's what, he, that's what he said, pretty much. You know, and then I grow up and I realize he's right. Man, look at the boobs. <laughs> Which is a nice compliment if I like you like that. So the not compliment side is there aren't too many women that would be okay with that. Excuse me. It is it is well past my bedtime, and I and I just got home a little while ago. <laughs> just think, this guy's doing this to me. Would I would I want some guy to do this to my daughter? And I and I'm and I want to also exclude the fact that you know a lot of people just want you know wham bam thank you man. And if that's all you want, obviously this is not towards you, huh? So. Sorry. Jeez, I felt fine when I sat down to, to start this. <laughs> you know, just be careful. I mean, you know, people are always getting on me about Craigslist, but I mean, come on. At least I have my intuition to tell me yes or no, what's real and what's not real. You know, listen to that still small voice. Listen. It knows. Trust me. Trust me. It does. So that's about it. I think I'm going to shut up because I have totally forgotten all my notes. And, you know, even if it's a friend or even if it's, oh, I know, even if it's like not in a BBBW group, whatever, or any, you know, on-site thing. A lot of women I know do not like that. I don't know how else to say it other 
been chasing too much. I mean, morning, month straight. Now, don't get me wrong. You're courting. You're getting to know each other. Yada yada yada. But there's a difference when men are out to when people are out to use and abuse you. The questions are totally different. The reactions are totally different. You know, again, not sharing much of their own life. You know, and you just start noticing um, little things like that. And then the hints start. Oh, wow, I wish I had something to eat. Oh, I wish I had a car. I could come see you. You know, where do you want, you know, let's do such and such and such together that, you know, more than likely he already knows is not your favorite thing or. Sorry, your favorite, you know, movie or food or whatever. It's his favorite movie and his favorite food and his favorite restaurant, and his favorite, 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 favorites, you know. So. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. I just really, really, really want you guys to be careful. You know, if you don't feel comfortable calling your big brother, you could call me. I'll either defend you or hold your hand at some point. <laughs> you know, but we all got to stick together. And I know there's a lot of good men out there putting those idi other idiot men in check. Yes, there are. So I'm not sitting here hating on one particular person. I'm not particularly hating on a necessarily a group of people other than the men who just lurk and look for, oh, she's a fat girl. She needs attention. Yeah, I'll give her attention and then she'll give me, you know, $100,000 or whatever. It's stupid. It is so stupid and such a waste of time. Um, but anyway, you know, generally, as long as you love yourself first, then it's going to be on. Okay, I'm going to get off here. Stop yawning in your guys' face. Sorry. I haven't been this exhausted in a long time, but I try to keep my word. I didn't do the treasure map thing um, the other day, and I feel bad about that. I'm sorry. And you know, I, I can't, I'm not even going to use nothing as no excuse. Sorry. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even going to go there. I just really want you to be careful um, when something seems too good to be true. It is. Excuse me. And by that, I mean, you know, he's with you Monday through Friday. Where's he at on the weekends? Where's he at on Sundays? Where does he go every Sunday? Right straight from your bed to some place. Where, where is that? And he taking, taking his mama to church. And his mom was dead last time he talked to you and told you about his family. Or, you know, something crazy like that. His mom's in Chicago and you're in California. You're taking your mom to church, really? You're just going to fly on over to Chicago, take her to church and fly back? Or were you going to stay there for the whole Sunday? <laughs> you know what I mean. I just want you to think. But I want all people to think, not just big girls. All people to think. Again, if you're just now coming on this conversation, this is just something me and eight other people have been, you know, asked. Well, actually, really, this past month, not 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 a couple of weeks, this past month, okay? Because I don't want any young girl or boy, boys get taken advantage of too, to think that it's okay to put up with shit from people who say they love you, support you, got you, to, you know, blah, 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 blah. all that other good stuff. So you get off of here. I'm going to finish doing what I was doing. Be safe. Be careful. You know, oh, that's what else what I was going to tell you. Even in a Craigslist ad, I had placed a Craigslist ad for a reception position, and I was stupid enough to leave my freaking phone number there. I'm getting all these fucking crazy texts from people that want to have sex. Just, I'm just, I'm just so baffled. 
You know, how, how could you do that to people? And then say, oh, no, I really, I really, how could you think that of me? Your actions and your words, you know. I just have to on that because I could see these people's faces in my head, you know. And I just want to hug each and every one of you. And, and, you know, when it happened to me, of course, several times, I'm just like, okay, now I know what to look for. Now, you know, because, you know, they, when, uh, when they put a whatever person in jail with another whatever person, they, they just learn from each other how to do it better when they get out. So, yeah, I got to learn how to do it better and still stay in the game. Keep it pushing. You know, so I don't necessarily have to sit here and pray for myself even, really. Or, or you know, some little girl. No, I don't have, I don't have, I don't want to have to do that. I want to see you happy and dating and thriving and, and, you know, doing stuff. Especially, you know, the stereotypical thing. Well, we, do we have to go see your family today? Why don't, why don't you just stay home with me? Scream, kick, shout, box, whatever, and get out. Because usually that's the first sign. Let me tell you. Justify to that, because been there anyway let's all just think a little bit now the the other the other flip side to that <laughs> is like me i i because i can't i can't put nobody on on i can't put nobody's business out there on front street but my own you know one or two things can happen. Either it is or it isn't. And then one of two things are going to happen. It either it is or it isn't. And one or two things are going to happen. Either it is or it isn't. And when it keep on when it keeps on coming out, isn't isn't isn't. It's time for you to you know flip the script. Think about something new. All that other good stuff. Or just move on to another person, which is what I always choose to do. And I'm like, wow, I really miss, I don't know, laughing. I don't know, something. Well, let me go find another different person that, you know, can make me laugh. Something. There's always a better, there's always a house. something else. Always. So on that note, I'm going to leave you to your thoughts. And just... Burn my sage and pray. Because I imagine, you know, it, it, I imagine quite of like these people that I recently met, and it's really heartbreaking. It's really heartbreaking, you know, to hear anybody say, oh, well, I like that about you, but not that. I don't get it, but thank, thank God I don't get it. I don't want to understand. Um, you know, Jack the Ripper. I don't want to understand Jeffrey Dahmer. I don't want to understand that that guy who cut up 13 little boys and put them under the house. I don't want to understand why people could just go around using each other so blatantly like that. I mean, did you really think I was stupid and not paying attention to the conversation? I'm crazy. Anywho, I'm going to get off of here jump jump in the shower take my butt to bed while i contemplate on which design <laughs> to put with my new i forgot um oh it's not that um ah, i can't believe i forgot it sorry Ghost quartz. That's it. Ghost quartz. That's what he called it. I looked it up. It looks like a ghost quartz. So and put that with some smoky or rutilated. Yeah, rutilated quartz. It's so beautiful. I 
just love it. So, okay, you guys, get out of here. Think for yourself. If you can't think for yourself, ask somebody. You know, he does this, this, and this, and this. Does that seem strange? Yeah. Bye. We leave, and I have to leave because I choose to do better. That just really breaks my heart. So many young boys and girls just get so used and abused. And oh, I know, I know, I know. If I believe what I believe, then everything happens for a reason. You know, and I just feel for you, feel for them, feel for all of y'all. Because some of you I know don't have, you know, a big mouth like me. Say, get the fuck out of my life. And you just keep taking it. You keep doing it. You keep taking it. You keep doing it. Stop it. Just stop. You know? Anyway, I can't tell you what to do. But I could talk to you as if you were my daughter or son. <laughs> That's what I tell them to do. So I'm going to go and... Pray for those of you that I said I was going to pray for. I hope you guys are doing good. And tomorrow, I hope you're doing better. Come by and see uh, some of my new jewelry de designs. <laughs> so, oh, I'm sorry. That's the point I started to make, and then I got frustrated. So this guy texts me. First, he texts me. Hi, are you still looking for work? And I said, having already had a stupid experience with some other idiot that just wanted sex, I said, I'm looking for clerical work. What do you have available for me? So I forgot exactly how he put it. Anyway, he just wanted to see my feet. He had a foot fetish. And I'm like, good luck with that. I don't have a foot fetish. In any case, you need to pay me beforehand. At least some good faith money, you know, for going out of my way. Because everything is everything. You know, and so he proceeds to call me. And I said, hello, who, who is this? Uh, yeah, um, so are you in San Jose? No, no, no. He said, are you in Sunnyvale? I said, yeah. He didn't need to know. Well, I was wondering if I could come by. I said, who is this? Oh, well, this is the, I just text you. I said, so because I'm not responding to your text, you want to call me? I said, hello, how do you do? My name is Trinity. And even though your phone is blocked, I have a way of finding out what your phone number is, your IP address, and where you are. Click. See, because you also have to remember, you fucking idiots that are doing these horrible things to people. Again, not just men. There's always a way. There is always a way to find out exactly who and where you are. Even some fucking idiot that tried to hack my, um, I keep my email accounts for, I mean, I had Tasha Speaks for 30 years. I mean, come on. Before that was uh, Hotmail and then I switched over to Gmail when it began, uh, Tasha Poo at Hotmail and Tasha Poo at Gmail. And some person in Africa hacked my account to where, just like in the movies, it ping pong, the ISP ping pong from there to there, to there, to there, to there, to there, to there. You know, yeah, I got friends. I don't live in the Silicon Valley for nothing, you know? So you both, on both of us, both ends of the spectrum, just be smarter, think. Why in the world, all of a sudden, would this person be giving me all of their attention 24-7? Why? Because let's face it, even the men that I do date, realistically, speak for three hours. Some don't like to talk that long, but the ones that do, I pretty much try to limit it if for no other reason we have a long time to get to know each other. I'm not in any hurry. I'm 55 years old. What the hell would I be in a hurry for? I love you. Okay, we're going to see each other next month. Uh, uh, no. No, boo-boo. It <laughs> ain't going down like that. 
you stupid. <laughs> Bless you. I pray for you. <laughs> you know? No. Just, you know, the whole rush, 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 hurry thing is just stupid to me. Anywho, um, I was going to tell you another point, but I'm sleepy and I can't remember what it was. <laughs> I'll make another video. What the hell? Uh, so go be good to you. I'm going to shave, shower, shine, and keep it pushing, boo-boo. Um, everything's acting up, acting right now, so I pray that it continues to act right on uh, Friday. I'll see you on The Angels, T-H-E-E-A-N-G-E-L-S, space, tube, don't ask, on Friday night for your mini readings, which means one specific question one okay so get out of here i love you go love yourself be good to yourself and i'll see you online how's that okay this is tasha harris with tashastouch.com and theangels.us i love you all Mwah. go be good to you <laughs> bye <laughs>